pretty cool or what? Good morning, wingman. It is opening day of the 2018 season. First split here in Wyoming. We've got a little flooded cornfield. Should be absolutely awesome. There's been a pile of ducks in here. We got a crew of guys. We're gonna get after it. Stay tuned. Hopefully we bring you a great hunt. Let's go. Everybody here? Yeah? First of all, everybody be aware of where everybody else is at. I want one group back here, one group back there, and everybody shooting this way only. No cross shooting. <laughs> got too many guys, but otherwise, get one group tucked in the corn back up in this pocket. Shooting light, we have a duck in the decoys. Got three on the left, hot inbound. Boy. Yep, little green wing teal. On your right, on your left. Kill it. Wow, that was bad. That was good shooting on everybody's part. What are you talking about? This is called Rusty Dogs. To quote Barton Ramsey, don't expect too much out of your dog on opening day. First goose of the year is banded, boys. What? No. <laughs> As you can see, we're hunting a standing cornfield. There's a little bit of water. I think it's probably an irrigation issue earlier in the summer. It's uh, great for the ducks. It's also a great spot to hide. Whenever you get standing corn, it's awesome. Everybody can stand a few rows in, and all you gotta do is hunker down, and you've got complete screen. You don't need elaborate blinds. If you stand back two, three, maybe four rows, you're covered up completely. Birds cannot see you once you hunker down in here. Even two, I'm two rows deep in this case. I've got all the cover I need. Birds aren't flaring, they're working. I've had to duck down a little bit as the sun's gotten higher, but that's just to be expected. When you get a chance to hunt standing corn, do it, it is killer. Fetch it up. Mackinac. Dogs, I got it. <laughs> good job. Good good. Hey, here, here, here. This is tough. Corn's all, standing corn's always tough for a dog. They can't see very well. They have a hard time marking birds unless you got them in the right spot. Good boy. We got lots of birds. The birds have not been an issue, and they want in here. Problem is, we got some guys that busted the roost not very far away, and they're just past shooting birds as they fly over, and they're, they're shooting them on their way to us. They got in between, but they didn't know. You know, that nobody, you don't know where everybody's gonna be, so you just, you do the best you can do, you try to be polite to each other, and they're trying to get their birds, we're trying to get ours. It's working. 
it's just opening day. That's the way it goes. So we got a whole bunch of birds that are trying to come in on us right now. Great to have a single read and a double read on your lanyard at all times. You never know on a given day what sound those birds are going to want. I also really like to have an acrylic, like the green, like the green head rocker, and a wood like the green top rocker. Whether it's a burnt hedge or a maple, whatever. One, I think they look cool. They're really pretty cool. And two, they have a different sound. Wood has a little different sound than acrylic, and it can make the difference on a certain day. It's, you just never know. The other call that's new this year for me is the long neck rocker. It is goose call from zinc and I've been impressed. Real easy to blow. I can get really loud in that top end crack that you want, but I can get real low and goosey with it too. We got a whole bunch of teal. Come here. Hold them up, boys. Gotta love gadwalls. Turn them over, you get this pretty breast. Nice. Nice. Yeah, there's some spoonbills in there too. What's the count? So, 15 teal. Once the old cheeks started here. So I was like, 30? Oh, what do you got? 19. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 49. Plus Ain't too bad. 50 birds. Bonus goose. Those Thumbs up, guys. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Woo. Thanks, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you. That was fun. Had a blast. That, that was, was a kick in the pan.